Sonia Khan was killed in River North back in July. WGN's Sean Lewis has details on the lawsuit. Well, Sonia Khan's story is known around the world. She was an avid photographer and had gone viral on TikTok documenting her journey getting out of an abusive marriage. That journey ended, though, tragically in July when her estranged husband was able to get into her Streeterville apartments. It's security video from inside Sonia Khan's apartment building. Lawyers for Khan's family pointing to this man, bypassing security in the lobby, saying it is Khan's estranged husband, Raheel Ahmad, the day of Khan's murder, July 18th. Sonia Khan made TikTok videos about the stigma around divorce in the South Asian community. She documented her journey online of getting out of an abusive marriage. Sonia shared her story with the public in hopes of giving strength and voices to those that did not come forward. The couple married in June 2021, moving to Chicago. And by February of this year, she had filed for divorce after a failed attempt by Ahmad to kill them both in December. She personally told the management employees that under no circumstances should, should Ahmed be allowed into the building because again, she feared for her safety. She was a very, very loving daughter. We shared a very special bond. Khan's mother today saying that she supported her daughter's decision for divorce. In a lawsuit filed today, attorneys for Khan's family alleged negligence by the building's management and a security firm. The complaint alleging that Ahmad posed as a potential renter to get into that building. And after having seen just one apartment, it's alleged that Ahmad told the leasing agent he was going to see friends in the building and was allowed to do so on his own. The defendants let Ahmed walk right through the door past security to a secured area of the residential apartments without even presenting an ID. Carrying a backpack and a garment bag in his hands containing Khan's wedding dress, according to the lawsuit, Ahmad is in the elevator alone and exits finally on the 28th floor where Khan lived. He knocked on the door and eventually shot and killed her and then himself. And knowing that he killed her after you know, going from out of that elevator, it's the hardest thing. <sighs> For the family, it is grief leading to this lawsuit and, they say, accountability. I'm not going to get my daughter back, but I need justice for her. And I really feel that if they had followed the protocols that day, my daughter would have been alive. We did reach out to the building's management company for comment. They have not yet gotten back to us. The security company named in this particular lawsuit says it has no record of ever having provided security at this particular apartment building. In Streeterville, Sean Lewis, WGN News.